Good morning, and welcome to Bayview and the Bayview, the Ruth Williams Memorial Bayview Opera House. This is a great morning. Uh, my name is Tom DeCaney, and I'm the Director of Cultural Affairs at the San Francisco Arts Commission. And it's my pleasure to be joined this morning by Mayor Ed Lee, Supervisor Malia Cohen, and all of our city partners and many of our arts commissioners to celebrate this exciting groundbreaking. So. Um, I wanted to first acknowledge some of our commissioners who are here this morning. Um, our commission president, J.D. Beltran, uh, Kimberly, Commissioner Kimberly Stryker, Commissioner Janine Chioda, Commissioner Chuck Collins, is he here? Uh, Commissioner Roberto Ornana, and former President P.J. Johnston may be here if he's in the audience, wave your hand. Um, so their presence underscores the Arts Commission's commitment to our city's cultural centers. For those that you don't know, the Arts Commission has six uh, citywide cultural centers, uh, four buildings and two virtual centers, um, including the African American Art and Culture Complex in the Western Edition, the Mission Cultural Center for Latino Arts in the Mission, SOMARTS in South the Market, and then here in the Bayview. And it's a great honor to have these cultural hubs as centers in our communities to ensure that arts and culture is in every one of our neighborhoods across the city. With that, it's my pleasure today to introduce a strong supporter of the arts and of the arts commission somebody who's helped increase our grant making budget by 10 percent this next last year for our cultural centers and for cultural equity grants um, it's my great pleasure to introduce mayor ed lee tom thank you welcome to the bayview yeah. all right <laughs> uh first of all it's my pleasure uh, to be down here to join supervisor cohen and uh, so many of our city agencies working with community members down here. Uh, it is a wonderful opportunity. First of all, uh, Ruth Williams Memorial, Bayview Opera House. Uh, it's been historic. Uh, I want to thank Leader Pelosi for helping us get on the National Historic Registry because that qualified, yeah. yes, and it qualified this for some major attention and uh, when that was done then there was a lot of other partners that i think we spend most of the morning today thanking because we're all coming together uh, to understand treasures like this and how we can turn historic sites into meaningful active sites along third street uh, and i'm really glad to uh, be joining uh, uh, folks like uh, De uh, uh, Louis Herrera, because he's got that library going and that's an active site, uh, to all of our uh, other city agencies, Office of Disabilities here, our, our uh, other departments are here, they're active along 3rd Street, our invested neighborhoods are here. Uh, you can literally see uh, these uh, restaurant and food establishments, I'll name a few that I go to once in a while, uh, Auntie April's of course. <laughs> where I get my uh, waffles and chicken, uh, but old school cafe. Uh, you've got uh, establishments uh, along the way, uh, like Let's Eat Barbecue and other thing, Radio Africa, things that we've invested in uh, along Third Street to not only make it active, to support institutions like this. Another couple of people that I think are part of the philanthropic community that's helping us build is of course when I joined Bernard Tyson at uh, Kaiser to talk about diversity in our city, Kaiser Permanente and the Goldman Family Fund also responded to be partners here on this particular project. I want to just give a shout out to them uh, because they're active. They're more than just talking about diversity, they're actually active in putting some resources together to join the Arts Commission and all the other entities to fund this over $5 million refresh of the plaza. I want to thank Walter Hood and his architects. Uh, he's got, yes, uh, of course he's famous in his own right. I've known that since my days at DPW, uh, but he's taken an active role in helping us make a refresh of this whole site uh, and gotten his partners together with uh, Tom Elliott Fish, see I can still remember that name, along with NAP, uh, Preservation Architects, and to work with our OCII, or our refreshed uh, 
uh, substitute for our eliminated redevelopment and have an Office of uh, Community Investment and Infrastructure to work with us on this site and help uh, Public Works and others uh, really take a good investment. I know Mr. Johns and others who are historic preservation experts can appreciate uh, that we want to do this right and we want to do it sensitively and we want to do it with our neighborhood uh, leaders. Uh, and there are many people that have come together for the Bayview Opera House. This is a wonderful announcement today because I think we're doing it in the right way. We're not doing it to the neighborhood. We're doing it with neighborhood and building our neighborhoods, spirit up, local businesses, youth, uh, arts leaders as well. Let me say something about the arts committee. I've read many articles uh, that of course suggest a fear among all the arts programs that with the gentrification and the affordability issues going on, we're pricing out our community arts programs. Well this I think is a little planted flag here that we want to do uh, something that suggests that we're going in a different direction. And even along Market Street, I've suggested that we've got to support our local arts programs that have been there, just like they've been here on 3rd Street, trying to create things and establish themselves and not get priced out. We need to do more of this in our neighborhoods and identify those arts programs that are on the sensitive economic edge. And this is why we promoted programs like CAST, to try to find ways to control the land values and land use and to use the city's economic uh, success to get that land control through OCII or whatever agencies that we have so that we can control land costs and invite the artists and artistic community to join us controlling these land costs. If we don't do that, if I don't get more of these land costs under control, then we're subject to the natural forces that are going on. Our success will eat away at our local arts programs. We can't have that happen. So I want to say to Tom DeCaney and to the whole Arts Commission, uh, JD and others are helping head, connect up with OCII, connect it with our Office of Economic Development, use our success to turn around uh, those properties that are getting out of control uh, with our success. And let's get some control in on this. Let's invite more of our community-based arts programs to join us our local businesses to join, our foundational uh, to support, our larger economic institutions that are led by Kaiser and so many others, join in that economic, make the connections, get land control, just like we do here. We're not ever gonna let the Bayview Opera House and Ruth Williams' memorial get away from us. We're not gonna let you know, years of inattention get away from us. This is a planted flag here uh, because we're taking a historic thing that could have decayed. Uh, it had on that edge, had we not paid attention, it was decaying right before our very eyes. And to suggest that we all come together, do our part, build community around this, get the right investments. There's more to come. And our youth and our businesses and our residents who've been here a long, long time, people like Espinola and others, they know that this could have slipped the other way. And Espinola is going to continue reminding me about other things that we need to pay attention to. And I got a meeting with her. I promised you a meeting. We'll get a meeting. Uh, and others in the community that are helping me pay attention to things that if we don't and they slip and they're not done right, they're not done with community, then we will lose that uh, flavor. And I'm not about doing that. I'm about building strengths of our neighborhoods. Our invested in neighborhoods has been about neighborhood strength. Our city is about neighborhoods. It's not been about all downtown and all that success. We use those revenues to build strong neighborhoods. And so we can withstand uh, both good and bad economic times. And this will be the stories uh, that I think, uh, as mayor, I want to be uh, not only head of, but be known for. And so again, I thank our Arts Commission I thank all the partnerships that we're helping to develop this area. I thank all of the partners uh, that are coming together to refresh and redesign and help with this uh, sensitive building, but one that we value. And it'll be at the heart of all the different businesses that 
we're attracting along this Third Street corridor. This is going, this is, is a strong neighborhood. We're reinvesting in it. People feel uh, that it's changing. It's not all about just mid-market. It's about Third Street. It's about every major corridor in our city getting the right attention through all the programs that we're creating. So I want to thank all the city departments for working with me. Uh, there are so many uh, that are unnamed here. We named just a few, but they're all working in concert that strong neighborhoods and strong corridors like this will be the beneficiaries of our economic success and not be left alone for others to kind of say that we want to go in a different direction. Thank you all for being part of this. Uh, it's not about just preservation. It's about economic development going forward with all of our developing partners. Thank you for all being here on this wonderful occasion. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thank you for recognizing the power of the arts for its economic engine, but also for just the rich history the arts have had in San Francisco in defining what San Francisco is. And I want to take the opportunity now to introduce another policymaker who has helped recognize the power of the arts as an economic engine through her support of the Third on Third initiative. Um, for those of you that haven't been, you've got to come out next Thursday, March 20th, for the monthly Third on Third event. Supervisor Malia Cohen has been a great partner with the Arts Commission, a big champion of the Ruth Williams Memorial, Memorial Bayview Opera House project of the Third on Third initiative by giving an ad back to support it for two edition two additional years to carry it forward um, into making connections with our partners at the Office of Economic and Workforce Development and recognizing the economic engine that the arts can be here in San Francisco. So with that, it's my pleasure to introduce Supervisor Malia Cohen. Thank you. Thank you very much. <coughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you for um, braving a chilly spring morning. Uh, but today is a real exciting day. Today is actually a his another historic day here in the Bayview community. Within 30 days, this community will have had four groundbreaking events. You can applause that, I agree. <laughs> and not only are we, are we having four groundbreaking events, but we're, we're also creating opportunities that will serve and more importantly, revitalize the community and for our future generation. So just to recap, you may be thinking, what are those four events? We've got Bayview Rise. Many of you might have been at the George W. Davis groundbreaking ceremony for the Senior Center that's going to be happening. Um, Hunter's View, and then we have right here today, the Bayview Hunter's Point, or the Opera House, the renovation. And today is Today we have another Bayview contractor, Conquest Construction, located on to uh, Tolan Avenue that was going to begin work. So remember how we've come to you before in years past and we've talked about the social compact as a community that we are going to be lifting as we climb, that there is room for everyone, that contractors are going to be working. We, meaning the mayor, myself, and, and other department heads, as well as um, our community partners, are living up to that promise. And I think that's really critical when you think about the overall narrative of the Bayview community. Today, we stand in front of a building that plays a critical role in the health of our neighborhood. It influences the experience of walking and shopping and eating along our beautiful uh, Third Street corridor. And it impacts our youth and families by providing access to the arts right here in the neighborhood. I see we have the executive director, Kimberly Hayes, here from the African American Arts and Culture Complex. And I'm really excited to be able to, to um, look to the future to forge a relationship with the African American Arts and Culture Complex based in District 5 in the Fillmore community and, and developing this relationship for arts, education, outreach, and more importantly, a relationship that will teach the culture of uh, particularly the African American community. And by supporting this renovation today, we recognize that not only that the building and the property, but also the significant role that this, this, this building has had and played in establishing a healthy individual and how the arts has changed a neighborhood. I don't know if you know, but my personal story, I took West African dance lessons here with Betty Gamboa. And so the Opera House is a very personal place for myself and, and for my younger sisters. 
And that's exactly why I made sure that to fund the successful third on third um, program. And I'm going to continue to advocate for the role that arts play uh, and to continue to support the Baby Hunters Point Foundation. And to Barbara in, in the mayor's, I don't, where's Barbara? Oh, there you are. When I was listening to the mayor's remarks, all I could hear was chick ka ching, ka ching, ka ching. It sounded like there's money coming in our future for the, for the, for the Opera House. Right, Mr. Mayor? Okay. <laughs> So I actually do want to take a moment to acknowledge um, our wonderful mayor, Mayor Ed Lee. Thank you very much for your leadership, for your hard work, and for your commitment. This is a man whose walk and talk are incongruent with each other. And I also want to recognize the Arts Commission. We've got commissioners here, but Mr. DeCaney, thank you so much for being a director of a for progressive, forward-thinking arts institution. And to the city family, thank you for understanding the significance of this building and, more importantly, the role that it plays in the community. And I also want to acknowledge uh, an amazing woman that has provided leadership to the community and made sure that this place has continued to thrive. She has poured in blood, sweat, and tears. And that is, of course, Miss Barbara Ockel. Barbara, I know you don't do it by yourself, so I want to give a moment to highlight and recognize your staff that helped keep run this place particularly your dashing security, <laughs> who's not listening, but I'll get him later. <laughs> Thank you, everyone who supports the organization, who donate to the, um, to the Opera House, who help keep programs alive like Dare to Dream. Please, if you're a donor, continue to sustain this organization. Although we're going to be temporarily located across the street, we need to continue to provide a safe space uh, for arts and culture in the community. And lastly, but certainly not least, I want to thank the community, the Third Street merchants, the neighbors. You are the reason why we are here today. I want to continue working with you. I want to acknowledge we've got uh, the Bright organization. We have um, the Merch Baby Third Street Merchants Association. And we've got a whole host of just really committed uh, neighbors that are at the table dealing with land use issues, dealing with arts issues, dealing with funding resources, and um, we need you, so stay, stick with us. I also want to give an, an, an acknowledgement to the Mayor's Office of Disability, who has poured an unprecedented amount of support in making this a reality. Carla Johnson, thank you. Paul Scott from SF1 and Brian Strong. Where are you, Brian? Are you here? Okay, want to say thank you to you. And also want to lift up two very important directors that also come to the table um, when, when called, and that's Director Mohammed Nuru and Director Ed Riskin, two incredibly talented leaders here in San Francisco with also amazing staff. And the San Francisco PUC, thank you. I want to also uh, lift you up. You did a remarkable job, particularly during the holiday season. Did you see those holiday bells along the Third Street Corridor? Yeah. Thank you very much to the PUC. I uh, also want to acknowledge the Office of Community Development and the Challenge Grant Program. You're, you're, you're lifting the community up, and we thank you. Invest in neighborhoods. I know it's a long list, but you know a grateful heart is a heavy heart. So bear with me, because we've got a lot of people to uh, thank. And invest in neighborhoods. The investment that you're making along this merchant corridor is unparalleled and never before seen. And I'm excited to be ushering this change with you. Um, so together we have really made this uh, renovation very possible and I also want to take a moment to acknowledge our wonderful funders. We wouldn't be here without your vision and your leadership and I appreciate everyone for making this dream a reality. Thank you everyone, my name is Malia Cohen. Oh, one more, I'm sorry, one more person I do need to recognize and that's um, Mr. Paul Lukianoff right there in the back. He is our architect, our contractor that is working on this particular project. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Supervisor. So it's now my pleasure to introduce yet another um, politician that has helped support the Bayview Opera House over the years. Actually, one of the first people to help save the Bayview Opera House with the Save America's Treasures grant was leader Nancy Pelosi. She couldn't be here today, but it's my pleasure to introduce a representative from her office, Sinead Doherty. Thank you very much for having me. 
um, the leader uh, sends her regrets for not being here, but she also sends a letter um, to be read on her behalf. Dear friends, congratulations on the groundbreaking of the Bayview Opera House renovation. Completed in 1888, the Opera House is San Francisco's first and oldest standing theater and holds a significant place in the history and culture of, Bay of the Bayview Hunters Point community. Today it stands as a beacon of the much anticipated and crucial neighborhood redevelopment. I was proud to have helped the Opera House gain historic landmark status and to have secured federal funding for this renovation. The Opera House serves as a vital role in the community by hosting neighborhood gatherings, cultural events, and celebrations. It provides cultural enrichment by promoting arts and education while fostering a safe and productive environment for program participants. I am especially thankful for the programs that encourage the creativity and civic involvement of over 500 children who participate annually. San Francisco takes great pride in the vitality and creativity that emerges from those living and working in the Bayview Hunters Point. Thank you for this opportunity to express my deepest appreciation to the San Francisco Arts Commission and the many community partners who are helping to realize this dream for San Francisco's beloved Bayview Opera House. Congratulations and best wishes as you celebrate this great occasion. Best regards, Nancy Pelosi. Thank you. Thank you so much. So it has taken, when I say a village, to make this project happen, that is no understatement. I um, had the fortune to come into my role two years ago um, and come into this project well underway. And for a number of years of planning and of city partnership, of bringing together the resources to make this happen, Many of the people have been thanked, but I just need to reiterate the thanks to some of the city departments that helped do this together. The Mayor's Office of Disability for your support of all of our cultural centers. Thank you so much. The Mayor's Office of Economic and Workforce Development for recognizing this as a hub for culture and economic flourishing for the Bayview. To the Office of Community Investment and Innovation for your support over the years and recognizing this as a, a key redevelopment opportunity for the city. Tiffany Bohe's here, thank you. To our partners at the City Library, uh, City Librarian Luis Herrera for your partnership and programming and support of the Arts Commission. To the Public Utilities Commission for recognizing this as a great investment in this project, but in the Bayview in general, um, and supporting the Arts Commission's grants program here in the Bayview. Thank you for your support. And now to some of our development partners that have helped bring this project forward, which what I think is such an incredible design that builds on this historic landmark in the Bayview, and I think is preparing it for the years to come. Um, I, a great honor to recognize some of those people that helped make it happen. I want to recognize the leadership of Deborah Frieden, our project manager. Where's Deborah? Oh, she couldn't be here today. Deborah has been a champion of this project in working with all of our city partners. Um, also, with the good fortune to work with Tom Elliott Fish and Hood Design, who created a bold, elegant, sophisticated, and community based design. Walter Hood spent many afternoons on the porch talking to community members about what they wanted to see, and we see that in the design, and I think it's just an incredible example of community-oriented design and what it can be. I also want to give a special shout out to Amy Elliott for your tremendous support in the project over the years. Also to thank Frederick Knapp, who worked with Tom Elliott Fish to ensure that the historic elements were carefully considered and respected. Also, thank you to Paul Cooper and the entire Tom Elliott Fish team for working with Walter Hood to create the overarching vision for the project. And with that, um, I'm going to invite Walter Hood up to say a few words about the design and the process to, to getting here today and what we're, what we're looking forward to. So please welcome Walter Hood. Good morning, everyone. Uh, just a very simple comment. Our first community meeting out here was quite an experience. Um, residents showed up and they let us he hear what they had to say, and it was very powerful. I actually couldn't sleep for like a week uh, <laughs> with those words reverberating. I'd like to say that we've worked really hard over the last 18 months to try to make those ideas come to fruition, and hopefully when construction is done here, you'll actually come back into the space in a completely new way, and a way in which the community, their hands, their hearts, literally feel like they've refreshed the space. And we look at this space not as 
just a community center, but it's actually a vessel, a vessel that carries the memories not only of the existing community, the past community, but the future community. And lastly, I'd like to thank Tom Elliott Fish for their great pencil sharpening. Um, we don't have a lot of money like in most public projects, but we've actually been able to make a small amount of money go a long way. So we really look forward to this project, the groundbreaking, but the finished product. I thank you all for coming out this morning. Thank you, Walter. Um, so now it's a, pl a, pl a privilege and an honor to welcome uh, those people that activate this space every day and that work so hard to make sure that the community has access to this wonderful asset and to work with the community to lead. Barbara, just thank you so much for all you do every day. The Baby Opera House is such a great partner. You, she works so hard. I was out here for Bayview Connect the other night and just to see those connections she's made in the community and all those partnerships, it's really incredible what you do here. Um, and with that, I want to invite the board president. Um, so you, if you don't know, the Baby Opera House has a board of directors. They're an independent nonprofit that receives funding from the Arts Commission. But I'd like to welcome up Gerald Joseph, the president of the board, to say a few words. Thank you, and good morning. I just want to thank the entire community for being supportive of the Opera House. This has been a long time coming. We've worked very hard for this, and we are most appreciative of the mayor, Supervisor Cohen, and especially the Arts Commission, and, in, and, and the Arts Commission's our best friend, Judy Nemtsov. Thank you so much. She has been supporting our programs and the community for a long time. And I got to tell you, she is a great ally to have on your part. So thank you very much. I want to bring up now and uh, the vice president of the board, Theo Edelton, to say a couple words. Thank you again so much for your support and continued support. And Mayor, we look forward to more money coming from you. So thanks so much. Thanks for that promise. <laughs> Theo Edelton. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. This is Good morning. this is finally happening. And I am Judy as, as we've had countless conversations, uh, countless meetings. Um, it is a it's actually great to see dirt, shovels, uh, all of you. And, and this building is, is uh, I like refreshing. You said ref refresh, right? Um, the mayor said refresh. And um, really excited about it. This is, this is personal for me uh, because I grew up in this neighborhood. Uh, and like Supervisor Cohen, I didn't take uh, dance class, or excuse me, uh, African dance classes, but I did take ballet classes. I, w I cannot show you any of those moves, but uh, did take ballet classes here, and uh, it is great to see that, um, again, that this is finally happening. So I wanted to uh, give thanks again to the uh, wonderful dream team of, of architects uh, and project managers working behind the scenes. Uh, Deborah Frieden, who is, is not here, but uh, Amy Elliott and Walter Hood again, thank you guys so much. Um, I do also want to let folks know that while the renovation is going on uh, and the building is closed, uh, we will still be here. Our presence will still be felt on the third street cor along the third street corridor. We have uh, satellite offices directly across the street um, and our wonderful staff, uh, Barbara Ockel, uh, Lachey and Ulysses will be uh, holding down the fort. Um, also, third on third, folks, third on third will be taking place. We will be uh, acting as uh, the, the, the sponsor for that program March 20th, right? They get it right? March 20th? March 20th, third Thursday of every month. Please come out. Please come and support our businesses along the corridor. Please come out and share the rich experiences that we have here in the Bayview. Thank you guys so much. Okay, so before we get to actually put a shovel in the ground, I just have a few more thank yous. Um, I have to thank SFMTA for their incredible partnership on this project from the beginning. You guys have been great to work with. We appreciate that partnership. Um, as mentioned, the Department of Public Works, Mohamed Nuru, um, great partnership, and we're looking forward to breaking ground together and working in the months ahead. Also want to thank Captain O'Sullivan and his staff for their work in supporting Third on Third and here at the Bayview Opera House. And I have to say, I, I just, a big, big round of applause for the Arts Commission staff that have championed this project. 
When I started two years ago, Judy Nemzoff said, Tom, we are putting a shovel in the ground at the Bayview Opera House. And here we are today. Judy, thank you for all you do on behalf of the Arts Commission and the arts in San Francisco. It's an honor to work with you. Uh, to Robin Takayama, who oversees our cultural centers, Crystal Fiel, and Tyra Fennell, who have made our, our work in the Bayview all possible. Again, I want to thank the Goldman Family Fund and the Kaiser and Kaiser Permanente for your support of this project and your support of the arts in San Francisco. I also want to recognize Lamont Bishop of Senator Leno's office. Is Lamont Bishop here? In the back, there you are. Thank you so much for your support. And to thank this community, uh, Kevin Williams is here. So many in the community that partner with us every day to make sure that arts and culture thrives in San Francisco and that our neighborhoods have unique identities that draw people to San Francisco. Uh, whether you grew up here, whether you've moved here and made San Francisco your home or you're a visitor here, San Francisco's arts and culture is what has made the city a place of innovation. And it is what drives our character and it's what drives our communities and our strength. So thank you so much for coming out today and it's time to put a shovel in the ground. So thank you. Oh, yeah. oh, one more thing. Here you go. We have a surprise. We wanted to give the mayor a gift from the artist Romel Roberts. A uh, portrait of the Baby Opera House. So, Thor, if you would present. Mr. Mayor, on behalf of the staff and the Baby Opera House, board and directors, oh, wow. thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right.